Greetings demons and welcome to another Fortnite creative video. The TARDIS has landed in the Fortnite creative world and with it comes a lot of Doctor Who themed experiences which I'm very excited to check out so enough preamble let's jump into it and see what it's all about. Not the leader of a cult. Rabbit with sex. Okay, so here we are in the TARDIS landing zone. Hi Robovax, welcome to the Doctor Who hub. Looks like Reality Virus has somehow brought us crushing into this new universe and damaged the TARDIS. You'll need to gather crystals, four, four crystals I guess, from around the island to repair it. There might even be a special reward for your troubles. Island from Nail by Bernie Art. So yeah, the really cool art that um, I've actually been seeing is Quantum. Um, is actually Bernie Arts. It's very cool. Alonzi. Um, yeah, here, here's the uh, reward, by the way. This is the uh, spray that you get. It's a TARDIS spray. I already have it. I haven't played this before, uh, but it's just a case of you do get uh, this if you just enter the code, which is pretty simple. I like the Doctor Who. That's a really well done, actually. That's a really cool Doctor Who logo. Um, what are these? We've got... Uh, Doctor Who Kablam Box Fight. We have Doctor Who Battle on Gallifrey. Uh, Doctor Who Escape the Potato. That's going to be tragic. Um, and Doctor Who Museum. Okay, so um, my plan is that we're definitely going to go to the museum. I don't think we're going to do the other things because I think the only one that's single player is the Pating. And I really do not want to uh, relive that episode. The Battle on Gallifrey sounds pretty interesting. But yeah, um, I guess... First, we've got to fix the TARDIS. Oh, oh, okay. So this is the current design that uh, Jodie Whittaker has. Missing bright core or so we've got to get this bright core ore stuff. Um, it says to get four of it, but there's obviously there's a pillar. There's more than four pillars, so I don't know if maybe there's like extra ones you can get potentially. Uh, is there if you can do on the actual TARDIS? No. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll go and deal with with that. Like a slide actually worked. So there's like a spaceship over there. Um, there's a weird green orb thing floating over there. And there's another one of those. And another one. There's three of those. Um, there seems to be like a mountain over there. There's like a Cyberman. A giant Cyberman at that over here. Um, and then there seems to be a boat. Over there? Um, we'll go do this parkour. Oh, it doesn't actually go over to the spaceship. It just goes to this rock. Oh, is that one of these bright core things? Uh, I think this must be one of these bright core ores. We'll, uh, we'll go quickly over parkour our way. I've been doing a lot of uh, the, the, not speed runs, the death runs recently. So my parkour is not bad, per se. It's, uh, it's probably not as good as a lot of people's, but... I should be able to do this. There we go. There we go. We've got first crystal. So we've got one of these bright core ore crystals. Lovely. Nearly leveled up as well from that. L nice to see. Uh, so, oh. Mm. Oh, it didn't kill me. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll go over to this boat. Because I, I want to see what this is about. I want to know what this giant green ball thing is. Is there anything in... Uh, in here? Is that a Jonesy? Yes, yeah, Jonesy. Oh, look at that. Little Jonesy. Love to see that. Um yeah, there's, so there's a there's a boat over here anyway. Oh, there's a NPC? Jaeger? There's Jaeger. Hello Jaeger. How you doing? Talk to you. Don't know how I ended up here, but please bring me some wooden planks, so three of those, to help repair my boat. Okay. Uh so I mean there's one plank here. Oh, that is a... Okay, so you only did two because you've got one next to you. Okay, um, I'll keep my eye out on that. Let's go around to this Cyberman thing. Um, there's like a rune over here. Oh, there's uh, Buccaneer. Is that his name? I think it's Buccaneer. Hello. It looks like you're collecting these crystals. I'd be happy to trade one for four fish. That seems really... That seems like a really good trade. We've got uh, to go get four fish. There's a fishing spot over there. There's a fishing rod. So I assume... They didn't give me a fishing rod. So I assume this has... Yeah, it does. Okay, lovely. Um, Stand on this little ledge. Do a little bit of fishing. We've got 
Oh, that was an interesting fish. We got one. We got two. Three. One more. Let's go. There we go. We got four. Uh, I assume I just give them to the little monitor thing next to him. Maybe. Uh, interact. Oh, he just gave me the crystal. Lovely. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, that's one of them. So I guess this isn't. Oh, leveled up. Uh, so I guess this isn't something we can get to, or is it? Oh, do we have to do like parkour up to it? Uh, I want to. I want to see. I want to. I want to do this. Let's. Uh, oh no. Let, let's let's do this parkour up here. I, I, I want to see what's what. I want to see the side man up close. Uh, right. Oh boy, this is gonna be. Oh, you, you know we'll come back to this. We'll uh we'll keep looking for. Is that? That looks like. Is that planks over there? That looks like planks to me. We'll go. We'll go all the way around the map anyway. There's an anemone or whatever. There's a creature thing from uh, Coral Castle. This is very interesting. I wonder if like you can actually go to these islands. I assume you can because obviously the water doesn't kill you. Uh, do I just hit this? Yeah, cool. Um, does this continue? No, but there is a crystal up there. Uh, I assume I can probably go around that way for that. We'll come. We'll go to that. We'll go and and do that Cyberman thing last. I think. Um, how many? Do, oh, actually, there must not be a. Oh, there is crystals up there. Maybe there is more crystals than. Oh, I'm gonna. You know what? I bet there's more crystals than four, but it's four to get the the spray. Let's 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 do this parkour. Let's do this parkour. This would be cool. If if that's actually how it is, because like, I know for a fact that I'm gonna get one from this plank thing, um, like I did with the fish. There's one up on that mountain. Ah, oh, I'm not good at this kind of parkour. Okay, so we're up with the Cybermen. There's a statue, dirt burger. There's a thing. What is this? Is there anything else up here? Or is it just this one Cyberman? There's a there's a uh, th what are these called? Turbine or whatever. So there's, a, there's a crystal up here anyway. There we go. We've got a crystal. Um, and we can glide. We might as well glide away. So maybe... I was going to say the green things mark where the crystals are, but like not necessarily because there isn't a crystal over there. It's just a Jaeger. Uh... Is there something up here to do? Some ice crystals. They're not what I'm looking for, though. There's, there is that crystal over there, so I assume that one is something that I have to go interact with. Oh, canine! Hello, birdie! Oh, and a pating. Hey, canine. Why is there a pating? Um. Oh, hello, bird. Uh, right. Let's go down here, I guess, and climb up here. Uh, I assume this is what I'm supposed to do. There's a lot of just, like, parkour, basically. That, that's what this seems to be so far. Uh, break that. Then we're still looking for the planks. Just to complete that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's planks done. Uh, we'll go talk to Jaeger again. Oh, there's a fish statue from uh, Coral Castle. That's cool. Uh, we'll go talk to Jaeger. And then I guess... Is there one more, like... We've been to that one. Yeah, we'll go over to Jaeger. I, I, I'm thinking there must be one more, because there's, there's one more location for the... Um, for the thing, for the... Whatever they're called for the 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 posts the the shape of the TARDIS anyway. Let, let's just get a crystal anyway off the Aga. Is there one like around here? That fish has a thing above its head, so maybe that fish has one. I'll I'll go check out that fish after. Let's go let's go talk to Aga. Uh, hey hey Aga, there's your wood. Is that it? Yeah, cool. There you go, a bit of XP. This is actually pretty decent for XP. I'm, I'm 199. I'm getting very close. We're very close to the end of the season, like, we're a few days off. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite 200 yet. I, I, I need to be. I, I will be soon enough. So, 
In which episode did the 13th Doctor first meet her newly redecorated TARDIS? Well, that was the second episode of season 11. Uh, it takes you away. No, the one in fact, no. It's the Ghost Monument. Oh, and I got another crystal. I like that. There's like a little trivia thing. That's cool. Um, yeah, because the woman who fell to earth, the uh, TARDIS dematerializes midair. Um, and then it takes you away is the one where there's the talking frog. <laughs> That's all I remember. So yeah, we just add the crystals into here. There we go. We've got all the crystals. Um, do we... Oh, we've got a foot... Oh, we've got a push foot pedal. I saw another one. Uh, there's... I can push a button. So we're just like starting up the TARDIS in, I guess. Uh, we've got a, a lever to pull. I like how that moves. Uh, oh, there's another one. Another lever. This one seems a little bit weirdly set up. Uh, what's last? Oh, we can spin the hourglass. Lovely. Great job re repairing the TARDIS. Now be sure to explore the portals for more adventures. Enjoy your custard cream. Uh, code for TARDIS spray, and then that's the code. And you can go to fortnite.com slash redeem for that. So I'll leave you off for a few seconds just in case you're wanting to just pause the video or whatever. But yeah, just enter that code at fortnite.com slash redeem. And uh, you'll get the spray, which, uh, once again, let's spray it there. There we go. It's a, it's a nice enough spray. And if you're a fan of Doctor Who, obviously, it's a pretty cool thing. Can I spray the side of the TARDIS? Oh, wow, that stretched it out a little bit. That's that's like um, Bad Wolf, though, into, um, from like de the Tenant era when the... Oh, was that actually in Eccleston's era? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'm not too fussed about these two. This one does look cool though, and I just refuse to do anything related to the pating. So I guess let's go to the uh, museum. Let's see what the museum's about. I like I like the thumbnail on it. It's got a sky with a little brochure, there's Dalek in the background, fish stick over there. I love the the art's always great for these. Like, I, the artists for the thumbnails for creative stuff are just so they're they're a different league. You know, they're so good at what they do. I, like, I love scenes. By the way, like, everything here, you're seeing it right now, but, like, Quantum Builds, they're the people who built it all, um, and then Bernie Arts is the thumbnail person, so, yeah, make sure to follow them on, uh, on their accounts and stuff. It, it's it's all really cool. Like, I, I love seeing stuff like this for collabs, where it's, like, just creative islands and stuff. Okay. We've got, um, I guess this is the museum. Oh. It's going to start in a second, I guess. Yeah, respawning. I don't know why it does that. Uh, right, okay, cool. Um, here's that really nice art for the um, for the landing area. Is this to teleport back? Yeah, it's to go back to the landing site. Got a TARDIS. So yeah, uh, created by Quantum Builds for BBC Studios or Doctor Who, whatever. Um, the museum design is actually by XWDFR, whoever that is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Um, and then just, I assume these are just other people that worked on it. Very cool. Uh, we've got a woman. We've got a man. Are these weeping angels? <laughs> um, in support creator, quantum builds. And I guess these are signs to say where things are. So, Doctor's foes on the left and Doctor and friends are on the right. We'll go for the Doctor first because I think that's a little bit less interesting in my opinion. Though I don't know. Like, the models could be cool. And, uh, th this all reminds me of the, uh... Uh, National Museum from B uh, Big Bang. Uh, oh, speaking of which, there's a mop. So this is actually from that episode. Uh, Love Doctor used those. Very cool. We've got uh, River Song's diary. It's supposed to look like a TARDIS. So it doesn't really look like a TARDIS. It's just a blue book. But ah oh, well. We've got K9. K9 Company, the classic. It appears in Doctor Who series four, episode thirteen, journeys. I mean, why didn't do the first appearance though? I don't, I don't remember what episode he first appears in, but, like, that's not his first appearance. It's like, they could have mentioned Sarah Jane Adventures, they could, like, K9 and Company. There's so much stuff, like, they could have mentioned. It's a cool model, though. I do quite like it. I like K9. Um, Heather. Um, appears in Doctor Who Series 10, Episode 1, The Part... Oh, it's the Water Woman. Oh, okay, so, so this is kind of a joke. Okay, so it, because um, there's a puddle monster in that episode, um, so obviously this is her puddle form, but it's just a woman called Heather. Fair enough. Um, 
We have the timey wimey detector from Blink. Very cool. Then we have Rory's sword from his time as the uh, as the last centurion. Very neat. We've got uh, vase with twelve sunflowers from uh, well, it's it's from Vincent the Doctor in Doctor Who, but it's it's a Vincent Van Gogh uh, or Gogh or or Goff or whatever you want to say painting. Very nice. Very cool. We've got the science screwdriver. It's the crappy thirteenth Doctor design, but I mean, pretty cool. Woman who fell to earth. Yeah, is the first appearance of this. Unfortunately, I'm about to actually get to uh, level one nine nine. Um. We got Handles, my favourite uh, Sandman companion. R.I.P. to the to the one that from the uh, what is it? Audio books. The the Eighth Doctor had a Sandman companion as well. I uh, got the 3D glasses from Doomsday. Psychic paper, very cool. We got a Kablam package. I don't like how much of this is leaning towards like Jodie's era. We got the Tardis. First scene. Oh, this is a first scene. So, an earthly child. Yeah, the first episode of Doctor Who ever. So, why does this have a first scene in Doctor Who, but uh, K9 doesn't? K9 just has an appear appears in. It's a nice model, though. I like it. Uh, is this uh, Gallifrey Falls? Uh, is it Gallifrey Falls? Gallifrey Falls no more. Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, the painting from uh, the National Gallery or whatever in uh, the anniversary special. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Oh, and we've actually got, like, we've got TARDIS and we've got some of the Doctors. So we've got uh, Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey, so that's David Tennant. That's weird. Um, we've got Bowties Are Cool for Matt Smith. I quite like that design. Um, it's a work in progress, but so is life. As if that's, like, that is not on the same tier of, of lines. But, uh, yeah, that's Jodie Whittaker. Uh, I like her costume design. I just don't like the era she comes from. There's a question mark. Um, are they going to reveal the next Doctor? Are they going to reveal the 14th Doctor in Fortnite? That's going to be interesting. Um, how do I look with... Um, oh, it's the 7th Doctor. I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I love his outfit. I can't remember the actor's name, though. And then, uh, would you like a jelly baby? Tom Baker, of course, with his hat. I love that. Is there any more doctors? There's a Simon over there, so I assume not. Are they behind? Are they, are they back here? No. No. Oh, they just, did, did they just not do all the doctors then? Got like a garden area? Is this supposed to be like a symbol for something? I assume this is probably supposed to be like some sort of Dot two right it's in, but I don't recognise it personally. Yeah, there's nothing else out here. I like that thing up there. No weeping angels about or anything. This doesn't feel like I I'm gonna be honest, like if there's no other doctors, I feel like this hasn't been made by a fan, you know? I feel like this has just been made by, you know, someone that was hired by the BBC rather than someone that actually likes Doctor Who. I don't know. Um we've got this is like Late stage Matt Smith slash Capaldi TARDIS. Uh, we've got ancillary controls. Okay. Um, got more ancillary controls. We've got the telepathic mainframe. This is what uh, Rose interacts with to become a god. Uh, we've got the environmental display. Okay. Um, I guess this isn't anything. We've got a navigation panel. Um... And that's it, I guess. The core of the TARDIS there, making weird noises. We've got the doors. Door is jammed, okay. Um, nothing up here, I guess. So yeah, this is it's Capaldi's TARDIS, but it was also used a little bit by uh, Matt Smith towards the end of his tenure. This is the... Uh, oh, this is like, actually Fortnite uh, design. This isn't anything from, like, this isn't a custom painting. That's interesting. Uh, nothing else up here. It's a shame we can't explore more of the TARDIS, but... I mean, th this is kind of like how it is. If you ever go to one of the, like, Doctor Who experiences or anything, the ones where you can actually explore the TARDIS set and stuff, this is kind of how it is. That's cool. I like that. So, yeah, it d I don't think there's any more Doctors. Which is kind of shame. There's only like, five of them. And it's not even, like, five of the most iconic. It's five of the more interesting visually, but, like... 
I don't know, other than Ten and, and Baker, I wouldn't say that these are iconic ones. We've got Cybermen. I love the Cybermen. Cybermen, the one thing that I've been wanting in in uh, in terms of like a crossover. Look at my silver boys. Look how cool they are. They really work in, in this. I, I I really hope we do get Cybermen one day as, as skins. I don't know why there's a big one. Uh, appears in Doc 2 the Day of the Doctor? I mean, yeah, they do appear in the Day of the Doctor, but they're actually, like, the Cybermen appear very briefly in Day of the Doctor. The main enemy in Day of the Doctor are the Zygons. And, like, there's Daleks in, in it as well. Like, why Cybermen? Oh, that's weird. Um, okay. Originally born on Mondas, the Cybermen were created as human-like Mondasians. Replaced parts of their dying bodies with the with plastic and steel. Eventually, they added emotional inhibitors, suppressing all feelings, love, hate, even fear. Some men are able to convert humans wherever they go and take orders from a cyber leader, whose data can be downloaded to a drone if the leader is destroyed. Like the Daleks, the Cybermen are known to have dogged? Dogged the Doctor through space and time. That's a weird word. That I'm starting to think maybe it was an American that made this map, because dogged isn't like a common word in this context. In Britain, anyway. That's that's kind of interesting. Um, what else have we got? We've got Cassandra O'Brien. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, she has her first appearance, The End of the World. Yeah. She also appears in, uh, I think it's New Earth. I think it's the other episode. That's so good. That's that's done so well. It's a, it's a shame Chip isn't here. Her, like, little man servant. That's a shame. Uh, we've got Gas Mask. Are you my mummy? From, uh, an, not an unearthly child, from, um, uh, it's the episode that Captain Jack is introduced in, I can't remember what it's called, The Doctor Dancers, I think is, it's a two-parter, but I think one of them is The Doctor Dancers. And this is the crack in space and time from, uh, from Amy's wall, <laughs> from, like, that fir the first Matt Smith season. Uh, okay, it seems to be Suntarans. Yeah, we've got some Suntarans, love to see it. Uh, appears in Doctor... To who the time of the do Wait, the time of the Doctor Christmas special 2015. I mean, they do appear in Time of the Doctor, but they're not like in the Master, the main antagonist in that episode. I'm confused, but it's like the the time of the Doctor. I think that's incorrect. I don't think Sontarans are in that episode. That's that's weird. These are also these are the newer des well, I say newer design. They're the classic design reinterpreted, which appeared in the most recent series. They're not the uh, the bright blue that we saw during Tenants era. Interesting. We've got Weeping Angels. Uh, first see yeah yeah okay. So this is the first crit first appearance of Blink. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, that's neat. I like I like the Weeping Angels. I'm not as big of a fan as most people are, but I do quite like them. There's a pating. We saw this earlier. It's chewing on a cable. Uh, yeah, Sinandra Conundrum. That is the correct episode, at least. Um, what's this? Scarrow? Scarrow! Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, there's tiny Daleks! There's little pepper pot Daleks. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Um, uh, first appearance. Oh no, wait. An unearthly child? An Unearthly Child is the first episode of Doctor Who, but the, the Daleks aren't in the first episode of Doctor Who, are they? They might be, I don't know. I don't think, I didn't think they were, but I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, Dalek Time Squad, this is, um, Time War Victorious, right? Yeah. Though, there's nothing Time Lord Victorious on TV. There's audio and there's comics, but there's no there's no episodes of Time Lord Victorious. That that that's a it's expanded media. It's when uh, David Tennant's Doctor got goes mad with power or whatever. I mean, it's a cool design. I like, I like the modelling on them, but yeah, no, that's that's incorrect. Um, we've got the Dalek Warrior. We've got the Supreme Renegade Dalek. Very cool. We've got the Imperial Dalek. They've got two different factions here. Um, Ironside. First seen in Doctor Who Season 1 Serial 2, The Daleks. Isn't that the... Shouldn't that be the same for this, then? Scarrow isn't in for the... 
I'm confused. But yeah, no, this isn't an Ironside. Ironsides are green and have British flags on them. This isn't an Ironside. This is just a... This might be an Imperial Dalek, actually. What's... Uh, that's weird. Uh, Dalek Sec. Um, the Court of... Uh, the Court of Scarrow. Leader of the Court of Scarrow. Uh, we've got Imperial da uh, Guard Dalek. Okay. Uh, we've got Time War Dalek. Not as gold as or bronze, I guess, as they should be. But, I mean... Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Is uh, Oh, we've got a little thing. Uh, the Daleks are the mutated remains of the Khaled people, placed in metal machines by their infamous chief scientist Davros. I wonder if... Is, is Davros going to be... Or is this the end? Aww. Uh, the Time Lord known as the Doctor is believed to have first encountered the Daleks on the radiation-soaked planet of Scarrow during their war with the Fowls. Uh, pursuing the Doctor across space and time, the Daleks invaded Earth, uh, developed the reality bomb. Um, and according to legend, even tried to imprison the Doctor in the Pandorica. So that's Pandorica open slash the Big Bang. But like that isn't legend. It just never happened because the re because reality was reset. There was a second Big Bang that reset reality. That never happened. Um, a conflict so powerful and destructive that the universe was said to convulse. They're talking about like a time war there. Okay. Um, I mean, some of that is kind of incorrect. Or badly worded. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but in any case, is there anything else? I wonder why this is blocked. It's blocked on both sides. There's nothing actually in here. That's weird. Is there any more like Easter eggs or anything? Anything else? Or back to the start. Well, I mean, there's some inaccuracies there. There's some issues with this. But I mean, it's cool. I guess it's it's neat. But in any case, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Uh, I'm going to spray paint this, actually. Um, or maybe not. Do I not have the spray paint anymore? Oh, well, you're not allowed to use spray paint. Because it's supposed to be in this slot. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Bye. Look at the screen. You'll be fine. Cultures of the same. But world's divine. I just wanna take